Click the link down in the comments or in the description to get your free motion offense ebook. Uh Uh, we talk about formations. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I've done in the past, and I'm gonna tell you my great steal of uh, of this past season. Uh, first thing we we've always run a motion out of a box formation, and that's always been number one. And what we would do is if we come down in transition, when we change ends on the court, and we come down the court, we always get the kids up the court, and we like to cross the wings. So if we get up the court and we don't throw the ball ahead, instead of having those kids stay on the wing, we'll let them cross so that we occupy the defense going through. And then as the bigger kids come down the court, as they trail the play, they can get right into the post area. And as we cross the wings, we can use our post guys to kind of screen these guys as we're crossing, and we would start playing. But we basically would start in a box formation. Can we get out here in a box formation, guys? And if we get the two bigger guys up at the, uh, the free throw line, the, point, the points got the ball smaller, the guys got the ball up top. Okay, so this would be basic formation. Now, if we came down in transition and the ball was back and we had the wings, you guys are out on the wing already. Okay, and we just filled, we just filled spots. Okay, and as we're running down the court, we may have had one big guy who may have been ahead of the pack, and he's running up the middle of the court now. You might be running right to the front of the rim now. Okay, and you're trying to get in front of the rim and post. And maybe our last guy coming down the floor, our last big, is trailing the play a little bit, and he may be back here. And as we bring the ball down, the two wings are crossing. Okay, so the two wings cross. We let the guy from right to left stop, and he becomes, so there's no collisions. He's always going to stop and consider himself the screener. So the guy coming from right side is going to be screener. Okay, the guy comes from this side of the floor is going, and we, we set the screen and we go out and fill. Our big kid comes down the floor and he runs right to the front of the rim. All right, comes right to the front of the rim, tries to pin the guy, and he sits here and tries to get the basketball. We'd like the kid to bring the ball down the middle of the floor and look for him first. The fact that we cross the wings gives him a chance right now to perhaps dribble penetrate on either side. And now, whichever side we declare, okay, whichever side he brings the ball to, he'll post on that side. Our second guy, based on who he is, okay, as he's coming down the floor, if he's a second post, he can go in the post. If he's a perimeter player, you'll always step to the pass. The guard will always step to the pass, so you would have stepped to your pass, okay? And our last guy down, he can come down, and you can run this guy who just came off the screen. He's coming out, okay? So you just set the screen and you're underneath the basket? Yeah, so you just set the screen. There he goes. Now, as you're coming out, you can pin him right here, okay? And you can come right off this and curl looking for the ball, okay? And you can start by just running the transition. Let's just bring it back a little bit. And let's just bring it down the middle of the court. We got a, a post who is trying to get ahead. He's trying to beat guys down the middle of the court. We couldn't throw it ahead on either side, so we bring those wings across and we screened. Okay, we rub him off that, okay, and now you're still looking, here he comes off the screen on this side of the floor, and now if he's a perimeter player, this is a good opportunity here to set the screen, he curls it, and this guy fades right out, and now you got your four around and one, and you play. That would be just like a basic way of getting the ball up the court. Now, the one thing that we do, good, we can just kind of sit up there, guys. The one thing that we do is whoever gets a defensive rebound, unless you're a five man who you just don't want to have to handle the ball, we will look to outlet the ball if we can. If we can't outlet, I allow the guy to do what we call just bust out, and he just advances the ball up the court right now. So if it's a 6'3 kid in high school, and you've been doing his skill stuff every day, I'm not uncomfortable with this kid bringing the ball up the court. It's a different way of attacking the other team. We have found, and I'll use Hopkins for example, we played Hopkins a few years ago, and my, my kid, I had a kid 6'3", who played the second big man for us. 6'3", 215 pounds, tough kid. He plays a Central Connecticut, and he, this year he was the number 15 rebounder in the country at 6'3". So when we played against Hopkins, he must have had six or seven defensive rebounds. So when he brought the ball down, he was being guarded by Humphrey, or they had another big kid who was about 6'7", 6'8". They really couldn't get out and get in him, so he'd advance the ball down. We had kids spotting up for shots or crossing our wings, and we started with a different look in that particular possession, having someone else advance the ball. But I'm not, I have no problem at all going right into that and playing off that. The problem is, as you're playing, you have to understand when you don't seem to have any rhythm,